everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. And today we're talking Tom Marilyn and his presence or lack thereof in the show. So if you like all things Wheel of Time, if you like hearing official news as well as rumors, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because we usually put out a couple of videos per week and they're mostly Wheel of Time centric. So anything and everything you want to know about the Wheel of Time, that's what we got covered here for you. Now, before we get into the video, I do have to give some spoiler warnings because we are talking not only season two and three of the show, but we're talking the first three books of the series and Tom's place in them. So, spoiler warning, in today's episode, we're talking Tom Marilyn and where he fits into the storyline that the show is presenting. So if you haven't seen the first season of Sony and Amazon's Wheel of Time show, that's episodes one through eight. If you don't want to know anything about the second season and beyond, and if you haven't read the first three books of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, and The Dragon Reborn. Be forewarned, I'm going to ruin plot points and character arcs from all of those mediums and speculate heavily on what is to come. All right, that being said, let's get on to the video. Alexander William, the actor who plays Tom Marilyn in Sony and Amazon's adaptation of The Wheel of Time, happened to be on the Mighty Dragon podcast earlier this month, and he touched on some aspects of season two and three of The Wheel of Time. Now, if you're unfamiliar with who the Mighty Dragon podcast are, they're absolutely fantastic. I didn't know who they were until I heard about this interview. Now, they basically interview actors, actresses, and filmmakers, talk about their current projects or future projects in the state of the industry, and there's some really interesting stuff there. Now, I've left a link to their podcast down below in the description box if you want to check out their YouTube videos, and I guarantee you, you're going to be as surprised as I was when you went there and you've seen the level of some of the interviews that they did. There's some really, really big names there. But either way, we're really only concerned about the Wheel of Time stuff and what Alexander Williams said. WattSeries.com did a fantastic job of summarizing the interview and the Wheel of Time bits in their own article, and I've left a link to that down below in the description box as well if you folks want to check that out. And I highly recommend that if you do, bookmark their page and check back often because they always come out with a ton of Wheel of Time news, and they're never wrong. At least they haven't been yet, and they are absolutely very good at what they do. Now, we are talking Wheel of Time here, so let's dive into what this could mean for the actual show. All right, so Alexander Williams comments that he's not in season two of The Wheel of Time and he hopes to return for season three was a bit of a disappointment to the fandom, uh, mainly because he's a fan favorite. Now, he's a fan favorite with book fans, show fans, and people who are fans of both. Um, Tom's a very interesting character. In the books, he was a little bit different than he was portrayed on the screen, although the core motivations of his character seem to stay the same. So before we talk about season two and three, what that can mean and changing sort of the storyline around a bit, if he's not going to be around, we've got to talk about the changes in season one and what it meant for the show. Now in the books, Tom was introduced almost immediately. He was a gleeman that was hired to perform a bell tine, and after the attack on Winter Night, he then tagged along with the Amon's fielders when Moraine Land took them from their village. Now he stayed with them right up to Shader Logoth, where the party gets separated, and he still, at that point, stayed with Rand and Matt all the way to Whitebridge, and at Whitebridge, he sacrificed his life, or at least it appeared so to the reader, to save them from a fade that attacked them. So, he had a much longer history and interaction with the characters in the book than he did in the show. Because in the show, due to some scheduling conflicts and some other things that were going on, we didn't see Tom until Breen Spring. Now, this was after the separation at Shader Logoth, so Rand and Matt were already on their own. They went into an inn, they saw Tom, they interacted with him a little bit there. There was an attack by Dark Friend at the end of the show, and he sort of tagged along with them after that. We think, to protect them... And then the Grinwall farm, again, he appeared to sacrifice his life to save them from a fade. So, very abridged. So, there was some different stuff here. Uh, the main beats of the plot, the main beats of the character were all there. So, everything that happened in the book sort of happened in the show, just in different locations, in a much, much compressed timeline. Um, and Tom had different mannerisms. He acted a little bit younger, a little bit more Western, a little bit uh, more badass, I guess, than you'd see him in the books. Um, and he became an instant fan favorite for people who watched the show. All right, so knowing that all of the character beats and plot points from Tom's arc in the Eye of the World did happen in the show, but in a much abridged, different fashion, gave a lot of people, including myself, hope that he'd be included in season two of the show. Now, Rafe Judkins, the showrunner, has gone on record a number of different times and mentioned that season two of the show will have elements from books one, two, and three. So that's the Eye of the World, the Great Hunt, and the Dragon Reborn. Now, when Alexander Williams said that he wasn't going to be in season two, I was disappointed but not very shocked, because Tom's character really doesn't do a whole lot in the second and third books. Um, he doesn't do anything, in fact, that can't be done by another character. Now, we all know that The Wheel of Time is shooting for seven or eight seasons, um, so they're condensing plot lines, they're cutting characters, they, there's a lot of stuff they have to do, because there's no way they're fitting the 14 books into these eight seasons, especially considering that after book three, the books start to get really big. The Shadow Rising, which will be 
pretty much the entirety of season three, uh, according to Rafe Judkins, is the first big book of the series. And after that, they pretty much stay the same size. So they're going to have to cut a lot of stuff out. So cutting Tom into the second season, probably a no-brainer in the writer's room because he's not really that important. Now, disappointing to the fans, 100%. But it does make sense. And I'll tell you why. In book two, Tom really doesn't do anything. He's in Kyrian, Rand meets him in Kyrian, Rand gets to meet his apprentice Denna, and all Tom does is facilitate some conversations between Rand and himself um, that explain some things. He pushes Rand's story on just a little bit, and anyone can do that. It doesn't have to be Tom. Tom's apprentice Denna gets killed by some of uh, King Galadrin's men, and then he kills King Galadrin. Again, that doesn't have to happen in the show. It can be done by anybody else. He's not really central to the plot. After that, he goes on a destructive drinking kind of uh, self-destructive binge, and he ends up in Tower of Long for book three. Now, in book three, this is where Matt meets him. Matt escapes the tower after being healed, meets him in an inn, and then takes him along to Camelin because Tom basically said the only worst place in the world for him right now other than Tower of Long would be Camelin. So he travels with Matt to Camelin, and then after being in Camelin and meeting Basil Gill, they go on to tier and that's pretty much tom's whole story very abridged version of it but he's not central to any plot points and he doesn't take the place of anything major that's happening so anyone else can take over for his character so if you look at it this way the wheel of time is going to be seven or eight seasons hopefully right now they have season three greenlit they're going to start filming we think next march for season three uh, so they don't have a whole lot of time left rape judkins has already said season three will be pretty much the shadow rising and that's book four of the wheel of time Shadow Rising is the first very big book of the series. After that, they all pretty much stay the same size. They're bigger books. You have 10 big books right in a row. Those 10 big books will be five seasons. So you're looking at combining at least two books per season, or at least plot lines from two books per season. You're going to have to do some major, major cuts. I think a lot of the people who really were expecting a something that was a little bit closer to the books. And I don't want to say a word-for-word -word translation to the screen because I don't think anyone was really expecting that. But if someone was expecting something closer to the books, I think as the show goes on, you're going to be more and more disappointed because they're going to have to cut a whole lot of stuff out. There's not much time left to finish the entire series if they want to get it in in eight seasons. Um, and cutting storylines like Tom's just totally makes sense. If they can take another character or even a throwaway character, have them on screen for a few minutes and do what a main character would do over the course of two books. That's just my two cents anyway. So let me know in the comments down below what you folks think. Are you upset that Tom won't be in season two? I know I am, personally, because I really like Tom as a character. Um, even though I understand the whys, I don't like the hows, if that makes any sense. <laughs> let me know your thoughts on that. What do you? How do you feel about Tom not being season two? And do you think they'll have him back in season three, or do you think he's done? Because let's face it, there's only a couple of storylines later on in the series that Tom is really involved in, and I won't talk about them too much because I didn't get spoilers beyond the third book, but he's easily replaceable in those storylines as well, or they can cut those storylines out completely. He's not fully necessary for the rest of the series. Since the last we've seen of Tom Marilyn is, is just that few minutes on screen in the first season, it, for the entire series, well, if I had to bet money on it, I'd say probably, but I want to hear your thoughts on it down below. Thank you so much for sticking with us here to the very end, and here's to many more.